Begin by safely lifting and supporting your Macan. If you have a steel suspension, it's pretty straightforward. If you have PASM, air suspension, or a GTS, there are some special things you need to do to safely raise and support it. Please see our article and video on how to safely raise and support your Macan for additional assistance. The brake fluid reservoir is located in the engine bay by the driver's side front windshield, red arrow. I like to see the level in the reservoir while I work, so I remove the cowl trim piece. You do not have to do this, but I recommend it if you are doing it for the first time to give yourself peace of mind. The cowl piece is held in place by four clips behind the weather strip, red arrows. Don't just grab the edge of the panel and pull up on it. It can easily crack the panel, red arrow. Our project vehicle has only ever been serviced by a dealership and it still had two cracks in the panel. Use your trim removal tool and gently slide it behind the weather stripping and release the plastic clips, as indicated by the red arrows. You can easily lift the panel from the area. Installation is the reverse of removal and make sure that it sits in the channel by the windshield. With the cowl piece off, you can see the reservoir, red arrow. Make sure to clean around the cap before removing it. You do not want any dirt or debris getting into the system. Make sure that you are using the correct fluid as recommended by Porsche for your Macan. Also make sure that you are using fresh fluid from an unopened container. Do not use fluid that has been sitting opened in your garage for a year. It has probably already absorbed enough moisture to render it a waste of time. Here is a motive power bleeder, red arrow. Pour your new clean brake fluid into the container and screw the lid on tight. Next, remove the cap for the reservoir and screw the end of the bleeder line cap onto the reservoir, yellow arrow. A word about brake fluid. It is very toxic to the paint of your vehicle. Make sure to take all precautions when working with it, including, as always, wearing your safety glasses. Pump the handle on the power bleeder. If it does not start to build or hold pressure, you have a leak. Either the bleeder lid or the cap on the reservoir is not fully sealed. Once everything is sealed up, pump up the pressure to 20 to 25 pounds. You're going to be breaking open the brake bleed nipples on each caliper. The nipples are 11 millimeter. Use a flared nut wrench. The wrench is designed to grab five sides of the nipple and prevent you from stripping them. These nipples can be stubborn sometimes and you do not want to strip them. This is the one time that you absolutely want to use the right tool for the job. Attach your bleed hose to the nipple so that the fluid coming out will drain into a catch can or bottle. Make sure that you dispose of the fluid in accordance with the regulations in your area. Do not pour it down the sink, in the ground, or leave it unattended. The fluid is sweet to pets, but toxic. Start with the caliper furthest from the reservoir, the passenger rear. While the power bleeder is pressurized, open the nipple using your flared nut wrench and drain the fluid into a catch can. You want to drain the fluid until you do not see any bubbles coming out. Truth be told, there should not be any bubbles in your fluid unless you have opened a line somewhere upstream. I bleed the fluid until I see the color change and the fresh fluid is coming out. Then close and tighten the nipple. Work your way around until you end up at the driver's side front brake caliper. The front calipers have two bleed nipples. Bleed the outside one first, then the inside one. If you have not introduced air into the system by replacing a master cylinder or an ABS pump, you do not need to put the Macan into bleed mode with a scan tool. When you are done, make sure you unpressurize the power bleeder 
by slowly unscrewing the lid. Never disconnect the power bleeder from the reservoir while it is under pressure. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel and check out another video in this series.